Hi guys, today we're going to make Italian wedding soup keto. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is to make the meatballs, and I like to roast my meatballs. So you need ground pork, one egg, Italian seasoning, a clove of garlic, two tablespoons almond flour or almond meal, um, half an onion, salt and pepper, and then to make them cheesy, nutritional yeast. I use this kind because it is not oh, fortified. Okay. So we have to spread, pour it out. So I am going to put a piece of parchment paper, parchment paper? out on the pan to put the meatballs on. And then I'm going to combine all these ingredients in a bowl. So first I put in the meat. You need one and a half pounds. You can use a mixture of pork, beef, whatever. One egg, a dash of some salt, a, a dash of pepper. I do two tablespoons of Italian seasoning. I don't really measure it though, I just sprinkle. I will do two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. two tablespoons of almond flour, and then a half a minced onion. You want to mince it as small as possible, and a minced garlic. Here's my onion, minced all up. Here is my garlic, I'm gonna put that in. And then I'm going to mix this all together and use a teaspoon to form little balls on my parchment paper. So I am using um, a half tablespoon, not a teaspoon, to make meatballs. And I'm probably going to cook these for 25 minutes at 350 degrees. All right, I'm gonna stick these in the oven at 350 degrees for 25 minutes. All right, so now I'm gonna get the broth ready while everything else is cooking. So this uses a base of chicken broth. So I'm making enough for two to three people. I have some homemade chicken broth that I froze. So I'm gonna put some of that in. Okay, I need this. But I am also going to use this bone broth by Thrive Market because I don't want to use all of my chicken broth up. So to this I'm going to add um, some sea salt, black pepper, um, probably two or three stalks of diced celery, a handful of baby carrots, and a tablespoon of olive oil to add some fat. <clears throat> Here are my carrots. Here's my dash of olive oil, some pepper, and last but not least, some celery. Now I'm going to simmer this soup, uh, probably for about 20 to 30 minutes until my carrots are soft, um, everything is melted and mixed together. And then I'm going to add some spinach for the last like two minutes so that it just gets a little bit wilted. I don't like my spinach, you know, pulverized. So 25 minutes for half a tablespoon was perfect for these meatballs. They look delicious. Delicious. Here's Reuben's lunch. He didn't want any soup, but I might give him some broth later. Becky, you're not allowed back there. Okay. Here's the leftover snack. Let me get you some water. I'm going to give Becky a meatball too.